Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday to you. Let's see if I got the Facebook to work today. Let's turn on the comments. Notifications are turned on. Okay, I think that's on. Restream is on. Uh, Twitch. Twitch looks like it's on. All right. And just need to see if there's anybody in here and I can get started. All right. Just a heads up. Um, I don't see. Hey, Craig. Uh, I don't see any messages in Facebook. I don't know what. Oh, there it is. Kim. Hey, how you doing? All right, cool. So let's uh, let's start this thing. Uh, so something interesting. Hannibal, what's up? Uh, one of my students, John Malcolm, what's going on? So something has happened since the last time I talked to you guys. Little uh, little update has come out. I don't know if you guys heard about it. But a new version of ZBrush happened to come out called 2018. So that is kind of changing the game right now. Um, uh, what you see on my background here is what I did for the beta team, little sphere, sphere challenge. Uh, and at the end of this stream, I'm gonna be talking, they're opening up to the public and I'll be telling you guys about that. So you can get in on it too, all right? but. Let's let's get down to what you came here for, which is the Street Fighter Chun Li action. So I'm gonna open up my restream chat nice and big here, so I don't miss anything. Sandors and Facebook, what's up? All right, and let's go to let's go to ZBrush. All right. Oh, my restream isn't on top. Let me open that on top. Um, restream. Do a little always on top here. Let's see. My computer is running kind of slow today. I don't know what that is all about, but um, hopefully it doesn't cause any problems. All right, so there that is. Madwig Pro, what's up? What's up? Pro is always here. All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna move this over here. Move this over here. And uh, show what I've done since last time. All right, so last time when I left off, I kind of had the pose going on. I've gone in and refined it a little bit. Um, wow, my computer's running slow. Made some boots, which took, uh, took a little while. And get off the modeler, yo. Know. And just kind of, uh, kind of shaped her a little bit more. Okay. So, uh, physics stuff in Blender, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, messing up my viewing. Okay. Nice strong hip. Exactly. <laughs> girlfriend, ex girlfriend, really? If your ex girlfriend looks like this, she should not be an ex girlfriend. But I'm gonna get off that. All right, cool. Um, so we got this. Let's get into some sculpting on the clothing, and I think we'll get into a little Sculptress Pro today. Do some detailing here and there, maybe. All right. <clears throat> so let's see what we got going on. All right. So one thing that I wanted to do with you guys is show how I'm going to get the the uh, the design, kind of this gold um, design that's on her outfit, and uh, I laid out some uh, I laid out my topology so it would kind of not be that difficult for me in. Z re in, uh, in Z modeler, sorry. 
So I think, oh my gosh, come on now. Everything is like three moves behind. All right, I don't know what's going on. I haven't restarted in a while, so that's probably a problem. But I'm gonna solo out the dress. And let's do that. Now we can also kind of play around with um, something new that's been added to the curve strap snap, which is what I usually use to lay out this stuff. Uh, I don't think I have any subdivisions on this. Do I? Let's see. No, that's dynamic. All right. So what I can do is I can start figuring out pattern. Let's see in Facebook. Venom is awesome. Thanks, Raven. Hooray for Sculptures Pro. Exactly, Kim. What is up with this? Oh, you know what it is? I think I have touch on. I think I have touch on. That's what's going on. My hand is doing things because I have touch on on the screen. So cut that off. Much better. All right, so let's get to the clay or the curve strap snap and start to. I'm going to turn on my lazy mouse. I feel like I'm talking a little bit like Bill Cosby today. Turn on the lazy mouse. And let's start figuring out this pattern. All right, this is not going to be very difficult, I don't think. All right, already I see I have too many. There's too many subdivisions there, I think. Let's make this brush a little larger. Let's cut down on that for now. Okay, and then I can just size it down and click. And that's a little more like what I want. All right, maybe a little bit smaller. I was going to ask you about the curve function. And when I use it, it ends up acting like spaghetti. Well, they did a little something to make it less spaghetti-like. So I'll be showing you that. Um, probably going to do that when I get to her ribbons in her hair. So, let's see, just I ask you that. Probably know about ZBrush way better than me, but is there any key bind or some way to tell what's the front of the model? The front of the model. You mean the topology? Um, because if you turn off double, then you will never know what is the front of the model. I think that's what you mean. Maybe not. All right, so I like that. I'm going to just click on the chest here and accept it. Let's do another one on the other side. Because this is out of symmetry, just got to try to get it close as I can. Let's try again. Oh, lag. Come on, dude. Seriously? That was terrible. Let's try it again. All right. And this doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to go in and mess around with it anyway. But that is. It's all right. Um, let's do this part down here. Cool. Thanks, Jen. All right. And this down here. All right. That's that. And again, these are loose, so I'm not really sweating it right now if they're looking exactly like what I want. computer sounds a little louder than normal. If it explodes, then 
Please notify my next of kin. Alright, that's a little wide. I'm going to make it a little thinner. Just by shrinking the brush size down a little bit. You never showed your key shot workflow. Oh man, yeah, you know what? That's my bad, I'll do that. I get sidetracked, you gotta remind me. Maybe if I have some time at the end of this, I'll throw that Venom in key shot real quick. Do a render. So I don't know if you guys are talking in Facebook, it doesn't, it's not updating for me. So I apologize. I don't see anything. And the part over here. Just needs to be rough. Doesn't have to be perfect. Hey, Ronald, thanks for coming in. coffee dude mm -hmm. it looks like I got a little more to do a little more to do here this comes from about here Cool. So there's 
that part. And I think that's good to get me started. All right, so now we can go and uh, unmask everything. I'm gonna start just gathering up these parts and splitting them. Try to anyway. Come on now. Oh, come on. Okay. Looks like I still have one of my paths there. Just delete that. Uh, delete. And get this part. Get that part. Come on now. Seriously? There you go. Alright, so I have all these. I'm going to split them from uh, the hidden. Okay. So now what I can do is I can go in and I'm only concerned with the... I'm only really concerned with the back faces. So I will go and uh, start to isolate those. I'm just going to use my modeler here. What if I can do a group by normal? Did I get them? I think it did. Please stop doing that. That face. This face. These faces. That. 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 I feel like I'm missing something. Oh. Sometimes it's kind of finicky about selecting here. Just want to get these alone and then group them. And delete the hidden. Oh, one more thing here. This one. Just the edge. Come on, give me the edge, will you? Hmm. Not cool. The one thing I have to get here, and it doesn't want to go. In the meantime, I can delete the other faces. Get 
rid of that. For some reason it's jumping all over the place. I don't know what is up with my computer, but I don't like it. Alright, I'm going to delete these. So I'll delete the hidden. <laughs> no, I deleted the wrong part. I'll delete the hidden now. Cool. All right. That was a piece I didn't want. I will delete that now. All right. Now I can turn on the dress. I only want the dress to be on. So turn that on. All right. Let's turn on transparency so I can see what I got going on here. start to get this together all right so first thing I want to do is start to weld together a few of these things that are one piece with my Z modeler these points together. And I also can get rid of some of this topology. I don't really need a lot of these edges. It'll be easier for me to shape it if I get rid of some of these, like every other one. All right, so that's one. too technical for in here brother hit me on the chat illustration is too good just give up no never do that ten thousand hours you get your ten thousand hours in you'll be amazing at anything I've got about nine thousand 800 and something right now. All right, so there's that. Let's get rid of some of these. Let me get, actually, let's just delete this point, or that, that edge. And now I can just stitch this together again. Stitch. Stitch. All right. In well, before we insert, let's just kind of shape this. Mike Tart, follow you on Instagram. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I realized that uh, 
the way I have my name on my website is Mike Tart after I got my LLC. So it's kind of a bummer. But now legally I am Mike Tart Works. All right, so that's that. Um, let's group it. Add a couple of loops. Actually, I can kind of pull it out um, to where I want it to be. You know what? I can actually leave it in the mesh, and then that way I don't have to worry about uh, lining it up exactly on the surface. in the position I want here. I'm not very good at drinking water. How dare you? I've been practicing. I have not inhaled it into my lungs in several days. All right, there's that. Let's solo out again. Just kind of get the shape a little bit. And the thing about doing it this way is gonna be super clean. So that's why I like to use the uh, curve snap strap. Go out for the sunset a little more since you hey, thank you. So you go rush. Alright. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Stay here. Just give it a little thickness and test this out real quick. Q mesh polygroup all. Size. Let's turn off transparency. I can kind of just move it into position. Watch it later. That's cool. That is fine. Watch it on YouTube. Get those views up. guys dig in uh, 2018 pretty nice all right 
so let's get these smaller straps done next so this I still have an edge on this one all right it's on now yeah delete hidden For this one, I wonder if I can just do a, there's too many spans here, it's kind of a pain. I wonder if it will let me do a Z remesh at like half and get rid of some of these loops. Split hidden, split hidden. All right, let's just try something here. Half Z remesh. Oh yeah, all right, that'll work. That'll actually work nicely. Get rid of that. So that saved me a lot of time. Usually I go in and have to like manually delete things, the uh, the edge loops. Sometimes if I remember, I'll go into the, uh, the stroke menu and turn down how dense it is, but um, a lot of times I forget, so. That's what that is. Let's turn back on the hidden stuff. All right, now I actually don't need these. These ones that are curved, I don't need them. Delete hidden. I don't like these colors, so I'll hit auto group. I make a character with bones and zebra brush 2018 using an export at FBX format. Mm -hmm. That's above my pay grade. Somebody in here can answer you though. Can't really know if it's behind or not. Okay, you guys are answering each other's questions. For her neck piece, I want to have it look like two separate, uh, like it's joined in the middle here. So I'm going to delete one of these. First, let's slide the edge. Slide edge. Slide this over. Slide this over here. Like that. Then I'm going to delete this single poly right here okay yeah to mask everything except for the pink kind of position it where I want it look okay all right so now I can just give thickness to this whole thing here I'll keep them separate let's add a loop here actually insert and then Q mesh this thing out let's see if that thickness is good 
good. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. And if I just click on all these, they're going to all get the same thickness. Oh. For this one, I'm going to extrude so it doesn't tear up the mesh. With the Q mesh, it's going to want to average those those faces together. So, and I want that, and I want to extrude the whole poly group. All right, cool. looks like. Okay. So that part is all right. Let's kind of do the same thing. Let's do the same thing on this one right here. What up, Tony Gore? Tony Gore is the uh, the reason that I am into uh, Z Remeasure so much. I could not figure it out at first, and I used to hang out with uh, with Tony in a, in a Google in the Hangout, and he would show me how to use it. So big up to Tony Gore. So I'm gonna have to mess with this a little bit, but I'm just gonna give it some thickness right now. See, I got some faces I don't need here. Just delete those. And now, Q mesh it. guys want to see some sculpting like don't worry it's coming I'm getting ready to uh, subdivide this dress and start doing some sculpting on it because that's the fun part
So I was watching on Netflix last night uh, Rapture. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's a documentary on hip hop. But uh, I didn't know that Logic is a fellow Marylander. Like, he actually grew up 20 minutes from where I live, which is pretty cool. So, I don't know if my, if my kids know that yet, but I'm going to tell them a little later. I think they're fans. You do clothing to existing FBX model. You can copy the rig. Oh, you guys are still talking rig stuff. Getting there. And again, keeping this topology really low is great because I can just move it wherever I want. I don't have to worry about really getting it all crinkled up, ugly. Too many edge loops. Let's delete some of these and it won't be so ugly. This is how I did all the piping on Bishop. I always do the same technique for this stuff. Because at the end it's really clean. I was checking out a uh, Shane Olson podcast and he kind of does the same thing. So I feel vindicated in my workflow. Alright, so that's that. other ones. Let's come back to those. Let's do something else for a while. I'm bored with this. We can get the... Actually, i got to clean this up. It's bothering me right here. It's one part. It's not a good scout dead here. Let's get this a little better. Go to the dress. I intentionally made this loop here so I could duplicate and pull it out. I think I'm going to do that. And it looks like it's all one thing. Do I want it to be one thing? Yeah. Oh, good idea. Save.
drink some water. Successfully drink some water. A whole lot of pressure. But I nailed it. Alright, now I'm going to save. Yeah, this should not take this long. This whole thing is only like 720,000 points. It's ridiculous. I think it's because I have Twitch and Facebook and YouTube all pulling on my system at one time here. This is crazy. Can I ask why you are sculpting it asymmetrically, posing the character before it's done? My guess it's a uh, aesthetical value. Um, yeah, I man, still saving. This is crazy. Uh, I've been jumping out of symmetry really early lately. Um, I really, you know, it's crazy. I'm gonna move the Facebook video is way behind everything else, and when I look at it, I'm seeing the back of my head. So I'm going to move that. Sorry guys, it's bugging me. Bugging me really badly. Move this. Nobody's talking on Facebook anyway. If they are, I don't see it. And put OBS on top. That's better. All right, cool. Yeah, um, I jump out of symmetry really early because I think I've frozen. No, I didn't. Um, because it really helps me to uh, get the pose down early. Like I really want to get into the pose and that kind of helps inform the sculpt itself. So, and then a lot of times with, with uh, this detail that I'm adding to her, it gets messed up when you start to pose it. Right, so like if I did this uh, detailing on her, on the top of her blouse here, when I went to pose it, more than likely it would get just kind of crushed and torn up. So I just pose first and sculpt later. I'm also doing a lot of clay sculpting now, so it it helps not to be too reliant on um, on symmetry because you don't have that luxury in real life. All right, so what I want to do now is draw out these, um, let's draw out some of these, some of these things on our hair here. The, uh, the ribbons, that's the word I want to use. Oh, by the way, so last time I was working, I couldn't figure out how to make the spikes on her gauntlets. And literally, as soon as I finished the stream, I was like, wait a minute, there's primitives for cones. and. It was, uh, I did it in two seconds, so. Thanks, Alex. Do you have any videos, or could it possibly be a video of how you do the model of the character's face from start to, well, we're gonna do the face on this one, right? Because this is basically the base mesh. I think I went in and went around her eyes a little bit and started to go around her mouth, but this is really early. So, um, like if I, Turn off polygroup and go down a subdivision level to like that's not far from the base mesh. So you're gonna see some face face sculpting goodness. Um big fans mango like wait, so it's oh yeah, no, I totally I'm into it. I would love to make a especially this one, I would love to really make a nice um, a nice sculpt, of, I mean a statue of this. Alright, so now I am going to try to use this new feature. I think you just hold down control and you can grab it and spin it. So let's see if that works. No, that didn't work for me. Um, there it is. Nope. 
Is that doing it? Nope, that's just pulling it. Alright. Sorry, I haven't I haven't actually tried this yet. But I thought if you press control and then grab it and pull it, it's doing a mask for some reason. Is it alt? That doesn't look new. That looks like what it did before. All right. If anybody want to hop in, hop in and tell me the proper way to use the new 2018 feature that allows you to kind of position these um, these uh, ribbons the way you want, I would love it. In the meantime, I'll use the Move tool. Go to Curve Settings and pick Elastic. Okay, cool, thank you. Curve Settings. Curve. Curve. Elastic. Oh, there it is. And do I still need to have the Curve Strap selected? Let's see. Oops. Let's see. In stroke, yeah, that's what I got. But does it matter what? Um, does it matter what tool I'm using? All right, I'll figure this out later. I should have done it before I came into class here. Not class, but this thing. As long as it is a stroke brush and then hold control, right? Let's try it again. Curve strap. Don't you freeze on me? Elastic. Hmm. All right. Oh, elastic came unchecked. Sorry guys, still learning this stuff. Lock the starter end. Curve mode. Yeah, for some reason it's grayed out. Oh wait, all right, lock the start, then select elastic. And let's try. Okay, that's different, that's good. And to rotate. What do you press to rotate? Because that's what I want to do. It, you guys, Kyle, are you in here? Kingsley? Liquid makes it more fluid. All right, let's try liquid.
Oh yeah, and then you can make it go backwards. Nope. Click on curve. Click on curve. Click control to rotate. That's what I thought. But it's making it a mask. You know what? I don't have all day for this. Move mouse over it. Let's try. Tony Leonard, what's up, man? Brandon, yeah, uh, I can get you the UI. You have to click it and then hold control as you move your pen up and down. Click it, then hold control. Oh, sweet, there it is. All right, thank you so much. Perfect. And if I use a larger brush, will that, let's see. All right, well, I'm going to have to play with it. Uh, yeah, got it now, Kyle. It's all good. Thanks, man. All right, so let's delete this. All right, I don't love these. I'll come back to them. In the meantime, let's get uh, let's get on the face a little bit. It's a little bit hidden. Tool. Let's turn off that. Go to the face. Get back to my ref. Now, I do like the topology on her, but I also want to, um, I want to use the uh, Sculptures Pro. So what I'm going to do is duplicate her. I'm actually going to clone her and mess around with Sculptures Pro, Pro do some tessellation and uh, tessimation and project the details back. So. First thing I'll do here is clone her and duplicate and turn on the solo. Tony Leonard, I can't believe you're actually in here. I bet you Tony poked his head in, said what's up, and then left because I've been giving Tony a hard time about not watching the other streamer streams lately because I can't. So, Tony Leonard also streams on ZBrush Live. Does some cool hard surface stuff. So, if you're so inclined, check out uh, Mr. Leonard for that stuff. All right, you can't have anything hidden and you can't have any subdivision level. So, let's delete the, the lower. Sculptures Pro mode. Use my clay spin here. So now I don't have to worry about I don't have to worry about edge flow. And I have some weird pinching going on above her lip here with these poles. So not poles, but the way the, the geometry is. So I'm going to smooth that out. Let's grab a little bigger. Our size. I have solo on, right? Oh, yes, don't it? I should save. I think something bad's about to happen.
What's up, awesome creatures? Um, let's do a quick save. It's probably going to take like a half an hour. scope looks so cool this is just the base mesh right now but thank you I'm going to uh, I mean the face anyway oh it's so big you can't even see it oh man <laughs> this is not not good there you go thank you Let's start with something easy like the ears. We have any ears here? Let's see. Thanks, Tim. Just do a little decimation up in here. sculpting going oh the lag is so bad I tried doing a Facebook live the other day I bet you Facebook is the culprit I tried doing a Facebook Live stream the other day and the lag was so bad I couldn't even poly paint. So, and I never had a lag before we added that to the mix. I'm just saying. Look at this, it's taking forever. I can't even like, kid me right now? When streaming so many places at once, might be time to get a second PC to stream the art PC. All right, you're gonna have to explain how that works. Sounds good, but I don't know how that works. I demand to know how you got a picture of my girlfriend in the previous pic. <laughs> Sorry about that. You starting any controversy up in my room? Let's see if it's any easier if I turn off Sculptress Pro. Still laggy. Yeah, it's very difficult to sculpt when you have a terrible lag. Kind of want it to be a one to one experience. series last week uh, not last week last stream which I think was my 10th stream yeah so whatever the last one was if you just go to uh, ZBrush live and look up uh, what's my thing called art by way of illustration is that right yeah way of sculpt no illustration by way of sculpture I don't even know the name of my own thing yeah you go uh, and check that out. Do like a search on YouTube, they'll all pop up. Or you can just go to my YouTube page, Mike T Art Work, Mike T Art Work on YouTube. Everything else is with an S. YouTube, no S. This 
is the move tool. Why does it have a curved stroke? Stroke. Curve. Curve modes. That's why. Much better. Yeah, you can see it in the YouTube Pixelogic uh, channel. The one on my YouTube just bounces to that. You can see that along with several other amazing ZBrush Live people. So I've kind of got a, uh, a method down now after using the beta for a while where I will use the Sculptures Pro mode with my brushes to sculpt in the detail and then the smooth brush obviously to, to either add resolution or, or take it away. Um, but a lot of times to clean up areas I use the uh, H polish brush and I find that I have a much better time when I jump out of Sculptures Plus mode to use H polish because what will happen is if I don't it's adding resolution and uh, and tessimating and I don't want it to do that I just want it to like smooth those faces and give me a nice clean edge so. Turn it back on and go into my clay clay spin here. on those eyes. I haven't had any problems with lags in ZBrush 2018. It's it's literally only being in this stream that it's really messing up for me. And I've been using it all day for the past three days on a project. So you might want to reinstall.
come on, man. It's literally like driving in mud today. This is not a good look. I think I need to restart because this is crazy. I'm like I can't even work. So I'm gonna save this and restart, and hopefully we have better luck because this sucks. Uh, save as John Face. Asians don't have iPhones. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm not done yet, you guys. Don't start giving me... I don't want any anatomy Nazis up in here. When I'm done, if it's wrong, you tell me it's wrong. Also, isn't Chun-Li like half Chinese, half American? I think, maybe. There's the old. I don't know. Maybe making that up. Look at the save time. This thing is 680,000 points. And it's taken forever to save. Saved. Save just in case. Save. All right. What else? Do I have anything else open? Skype is open. Let's quit that. Sorry, guys. Close Chrome because it's a memory hound. Hog. And is ZBrush done saving? Yeah. All right, let's quit ZBrush and restart. Quit ZBrush. No. Boom, Windows crash. All right. Do I have anything in the trash? Nope. Anything here that I can close? Let's close this. And let's give it another go. Thanks, Alex. I think what I might have to do is. I might have to separate her head from the rest of her body so I can just have a little bit of geo showing on the screen and I can use Sculptures Plus. And it's covered anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, load tool. Let's load Chun latest. Oh, all 
already it's moving better. I like that. Alright, hello, Chun face. Oh my god. Alright, fingers crossed you guys, it stays like this. how it is supposed to work. face. I mean, it's good, but it's not exactly what I wanted. Like what is the program you use for your reference? Oh, this is Pure Ref. P U R R E F. And it works on Mac and PC. It's awesome. So the Sculptus Pro is great for areas where like these nostrils that are just it's a mess. And like if you try to you try to you know dig in there with uh <laughs> that didn't sound good. If you tried to uh sculpt them without it and you didn't have the right topology, it just tears up the you know, the the nostril outside part. I'm going to be using a lot of really anatomically correct terms, so nostril outside part, you guys, I, I don't know, go Google it. It's like, I don't want to get too, too highfalutin, but I know things, so I'm a good body part knowing guy. PRF is great. I use it on side monitor. Yep, me too. Actually, like lately, I've just been using it right on top. so much better than it was before. Oh, 
turn on back face masking. Would be nice. Back face. Yeah, in these thin areas, I'm tearing up the other side of the mesh. Why didn't you use layers for keeping symmetry? Why didn't you use layers? For, what, did, what do you mean by that? What you talking about, Willis? Like set up posable symmetry? Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean? the base with symmetry I did I did do that I uh, I just went like just jump back like 20 minutes after this thing is over I mean I, I like to uh, I like to sculpt out of symmetry a lot um, it just kind of it's a little more challenging for me and uh, it's fun I end up getting a more I don't know, realistic piece too if I do that. I noticed that when I sculpt in symmetry and start to rely on that, that my piece feels more stiff when I'm done because I'm scared to really push the pose because I'm worried about messing up what I've already done. So in the past I have kept it in a symmetrical pose and done all of you know my details. I did that with a uh, I did that with Bishop and lost everything when I posed him because I really wanted to push that pose. And you just get crazy deformation. So you end up sculpting it over again. And also if you do straps and packs and stuff like that, it gets messed up. So I like to pose it as soon as I can to make me excited about the piece. That's the other thing. If it's in an A pose, it's just like I get I lose interest really fast I got too many things I'm working on and I lose any interest in it so that's why I do notice that people sometimes are like why are you doing that like some folks don't don't dig that approach but hey man everybody does their thing they're on their way their own way Oops. Uh, let's kind of get a little definition here. Also, I was watching Danny Mac put a 60 second video on yesterday. He's been killing it with these. Uh, with these informative videos on 2018, like in a minute he'll explain the primitive deformation um, or the deformers primitives or you know re uh, retopologize in the face using the um, polygroup it so like really cool stuff Danny's another if you don't I'm sure anybody who's watching this knows who he is but he's another streamer on here that Man, that guy's awesome. So. Where can you find the videos? On Pixelogic's uh, YouTube page is where you can find them. Just look under ZBrush Live on the YouTube page. You can get there from there. If you go to ZBrush Live dot com or Pixelogic's proper website and just click around on the top bar you'll find it too. Alright, turn this down. No, I want that off. I want this turned down. Give me a little bit of lazy mouse. Oh my god, it works now you guys. I actually can draw a continuous strobe.
even though Chun Li's a badass. open my Facebook um, page again so I can see if anybody's asking any questions there or saying having any comments. Ooh. to find this upper lip I know that uh, that dip in looks weird You know, the only thing that really kind of is challenging, but working out of symmetry, it's very easy to have one side look good and the other side look not so good. So you got to constantly rotate the model around to see what's up. This is one of those things where I 
always have to work on a face for a while before it comes together. It always looks kind of crappy at first. So, if you were expecting this to be like, hey, he just touched it and it's awesome, that's not how I work. There are some people that get them really quickly, like Danny's one of those guys, man. When it comes to women, he knocks out faces that are beautiful, like, really quickly. But that's kind of his signature thing, so God bless him. For me, it's a struggle. to it to lean back up. Take a look here. Even though I redid it, that part above her lip just isn't kind of working right. Maybe I don't have the lip high enough. Let's see. Let's try to mask that out a little bit. Hey Mike, we are we up to two? I'll just log in. Oh, two thirty-five. Wait a minute, this thing's over at three. What happened all the time? Yeah, sorry. Uh, what did you type to find reference for the hands of your recent venom sculpt? This was the reference for the hands of the venom sculpt. I didn't. I actually didn't look at anything. Uh, not for that one, but I mean the hands are kind of like, they're alright, but they're definitely not reference quality, but yeah, I just made like the the same claw, I use pretty much the same type of claw hand for everything, this authorized hand, and uh, that's what I did for Venom. Alex.
see what she looks like with her outfit. So let's take let's take her back. Man, there's something going on above this lip that is bothering me. What is that? Oh. I see. do let's see double here let's mask this part out again Do I already have groups? Not for the jaw. I don't know why, but I don't have one for the jaw. Tube, that's okay. Now I can kind of just get in there and do some stuff to the lips. Where's my light? I'm having a hard time seeing it. So this is one of those things where if I walk away for a while and come back, I'll see a whole lot of stuff that I can fix. That's all good. All right. Cheers from Brazil. Hey, thank you. What's up? Johan? I saw that you like Richard McDonald's scope on Instagram. So I wasn't surprised to see. Remind me which one it was, because I liked a whole bunch of Instagram stuff this morning. 
Alright, no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to grab it without getting some upper lip. Oh, yeah. Um, her lips are pretty flat, do not fit the stereotype. You know, it's just upper lip. Well, maybe the lower lips. Um, on the model, you're saying they're flat? Um, maybe. Probably. I'll come back to it. I gotta step away. Uh, yeah, to isolate that lower lip if the mouth is closed, um, I started using the the old transpose line trick but with the gizmo where I just, uh, if I grab the gizmo and kind of move it out of the way and then hold down the command key, I can kind of go all the way up to where those uh, there's that extreme change in geometry and then I get most of the lip sometimes I mean you can do that for areas that are hard to that's kinda hard to iso isolate and then just paint in the rest because I do I used to have that problem all the time so I just hover over it let's see if I can do it from the top it's finicky sometimes but yeah you see there just get most of it and then you can you know kinda open the mouth if you want to I was just showing my students that trick this weekend. All righty, all right. So, not perfect, but better. All right, definitely better than it was. Just kind of got some duck lip thing going on now. I don't like that very much. I hate that duck face. Don't do the duck face. Let's look at some other pictures. See what we got going on. She clearly is not Chinese. Let's see, how about you? Um, yeah, my lips look massive. And then just smooth them out a little bit. Oh, I don't have uh, Sculptress turned on. I don't want to mess up the upper lip though. So this is one of those things where I'd be noodling away all day. I cannot believe it's almost. Is that right? It's almost three o'clock already. Damn! I didn't. I, I feel like I haven't gotten anything done. Like I feel like I literally just started. And it's time to be done already. All right, let's. Uh, sorry guys, this is not the most productive. Um, productive I've ever been. Copy. What happened? Like a whole hour just disappeared. Paste that one. Let's hide that one. Let's turn on everything. I haven't done anything. It's 250. All right. Let's at least like detail the thing around her waist or something. Cause... Sorry, I just feel like I haven't gotten anything done at all. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, I guess. I don't know how fun this was. It seems like I didn't get anything accomplished. All right, actually, you know what would be fun is to. Do I have any? All right, no. I want to divide this a bit. I would like to sculpt some of this. Um, Some of her dress. Be nice. Turn off sculptress. I just want to see what I can get accomplished here. In the literal couple of minutes that I have left.
hide these straps because they're just in the way. This is one of those things where the geometry is, uh, it really has to be exactly where you want to cut in these wrinkles or else you start just getting like pinched areas, which looks ugly. It's not a good look. All right, I do like, it looks like she has a seam on her outfit at the bottom. That's From there to there. Looks like that's where it's kind of engineered together and then it gives that more fitted look. So I'll just cut that in and inflate and see what that looks like. Man, I wish I had more time. I might have to switch from like, what am I now? Two hours? I might have to switch to three hours. One, two, three, yeah. Might have to start doing that, Kyle. Like two hours isn't cutting it. Seven fifty in Scotland. Ah. It's good to know. Next time I'm in Scotland, I'll know what time it is. That's awesome, man. Gotta love that posting. Um, let's get a little bit of wrinkles in here. See, maybe if I'd started with the dress, I would have something to show at the end. I feel like it's one of those classes where I don't have anything to show at the end of the class. Like the whole semester went by and I got nothing to show here. Illustration for the look of this. So, oops. Your rep stay on top. So, let's get this together. Sorry, Facebook guys. Um, I just I don't have it open. I will totally. I know you guys are commenting, and I apologize. Next next time I'll have it together. Although I quit Facebook and I don't have that lag anymore, so I don't know, Kyle. Anybody else having problems with that? Is it just me? Um, just kind 
to sketch in what I want to I want to do here. Crypto mining. Yeah, probably. Probably. Stay on top. Thank you. Areas where I don't have a lot of topology, so I'll turn on my. Uh, I got. Ugh, I have uh, subdivision levels, so I can't use sculptures. If I had more time, I would take care of that, but I don't. Easy to get carried away with uh, with the folds. They have to make sense. Two fifty five. Start this on Twitch, cool. Yeah, definitely. Take care. I gotta go, Alex. All right, all right. Thank you. See you next time. I haven't seen that yet. I just started watching yesterday. Um, I got through half of Nas and uh, um, wow, I forgot his name that fast. Uh, oh man, <laughs> dude, I was talking about a second ago from Maryland town. Uh, not town. Uh, Oh man, help me out. I forgot his name. Sun's down, back to ZBrush lurk mode. All right. Thanks for stopping by. I think I'm out of time too. 2.58. I only got a couple minutes left here. Logic. Thank you, man. Oh man. See, this is what happens when you concentrate on not spilling water all over yourself when you take a sip you can't remember anything else can't do two things at one time thanks Mike yeah It's funny because most people who are from Maryland never really claim Maryland. We all kind of claim DC because, like, Maryland is not super exciting. So we all say we're from DC. 
I know that Chappelle did the same thing. Chappelle's like 30 different minutes in the other direction, or at least he grew up there anyway. But everybody says they're from DC. Alright, let's turn on everything because I think it's just about that time. Um, turn on that. <laughs> no, it's a mess. Some Sailor Moon straps right now. It's no bueno. Let's turn those off. All right, so are we getting there? It's a little man, just very little progress today. But uh, oops, it's like the uh, it's like we're kind of poking through a little bit here. Let's fix that. Yeah. So anyway, um. I guess I'll be working on Chun Li again next time. All right. Um, maybe I'll start because I'm not on for another two weeks. Maybe what I'll do is I'll start uh, broadcasting on my own Twitch, and that's just um, I think Mike T Two K Five. I think is what it is. So if you see me pop up in there, just holler. All right. Uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, oh man, Michael Grobman, what's up, dude? Talk to him in a minute. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks, and uh, peace.